Hey everybody, Dreamy here. Back for a little live demonstration today. Um, today we're going to be making some jelly prints and I'm going to be using this um, paper that I found. It's a resume paper for um, resumes. Uh, you can see that it's 100% uh, cotton. Um, it's a 90 pound or 90 GSM. Um, it's pretty lightweight, but we're gonna try it out. I did a view yesterday. As you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty flimsy, but that's okay. So these are the ones that I made yesterday. And you can see they dried pretty nicely. We're also gonna be using some um, sprays that I made up with some mica powder. So you can see that these are pretty, came out pretty nice and they're really shiny. Um, and I'm going to use these in collage, I think. Some landscape collages that I will probably start doing this weekend. Because that will be a fun project to do. Okay, so let's get the jelly plate out. jelly plate and okay so let's get started Move this out of the way I'm gonna start off with some of this Craft Smart Vanilla. I've got about 10 sheets of paper here, so this will be a quick tutorial. Maybe not so quick. So we're gonna make some backgrounds first. Let's start off with some of the cream, and this is the Blue Ice Pearl, which is some sort of metallic -y color. I don't want to be too precise with these. Let's see that's oh that's really pretty. Look how fun that is. Okay, let's do some more. Let's get a little Let's do this, and this is the brown metallic paint. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Got a little frog there in my throat. I do have some stencils here that I just got in the mail. So maybe we should try some of those out too. Let's see what will be a good one. Ooh, let's try this one out. This one's kind of fun. Let's see how we're going to do that. I'm just going to sort of bray her it on in spots. I've <clears throat> really been enjoying making these jelly prints lately. Eh, that one wasn't great. Something's missing. Let's go back to the, the white. And let's add in a bit of this Arteza Raw Sienna. Because this is a fun color combination. Just a little bit. Doesn't take much. So we're going to print out these backgrounds and then we're going to go back in 
and print over top of them. Let's try that stencil again. I mean, let's, let's try this side this time. sheets there. It's so thin. So I've been watching a lot of Robin McClendon videos lately. If you haven't checked her out, you definitely should. She is amazing and does has some really awesome jelly print techniques. Let's try some of this cool gray. I kind of just want these to be, I'm very much, I've been very much into these earth tones lately. But anyway, yeah, you should definitely check out Rob McClendon. She does some pretty awesome jelly print things. She's got this whole Rolodex thing that she did and her videos are really awesome. She goes live all the time. I'll leave a link definitely below so you can go check her out. Ooh, that one's really nice. So we're gonna print all these out and then we're gonna go back. I like that color combination. What if you do this? We're gonna go back and print over them again. I'm just using, that was the, just a gold paint. I'm kind of noticing that I'm liking mixing the colors together pretty loosely. Got way too much paint on there, but. Okay, I really like that stamp. I thought that was. We're just making a mess. So yeah, this paper is working pretty well. It's not something that I would probably buy to do jelly prints, but I'm always trying to, oh, that's probably pretty actually, um, find colors that, uh, or papers that I have just laying around. This is the color shift paint from Folk Art. Oh God, that's way too much. And this is a super fun paint. It changes colors as we go along. I'm gonna add in some white. Oh, my white's almost gone. Let's try, this feels very floral to me, so let's do like some of that and see what happens. That pink is really, really bright. <clears throat> You can see I'm a very messy printmaker. I'm a mess. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Might be kind of neat to oh, print over that with 
maybe some white. How many sheets we got left? Three. Let's continue on with a little bit more of that pink. Just a little bit this time. We've already got that white and the brown and the brayer. Add some gold. I need to go to the paint store. I'm kind of getting low on paint. Making all sorts of squirty noises. Let's do. I really like this stencil. It's kind of fun. Okay. It's really pretty. The color shift on the gold. Neat. <clears throat> Let's try some more of that. I like the color shift. Another thing that I thought I might do with these is that I have an art bubble shop or red bubble shop, sorry. I thought it might be kind of fun to turn some of these into, to scan them and then turn them into home goods, like pillows or whatever. But they need to be a little bit more bold. Maybe I could bring them into these basic ones into Photoshop and add in some. Let's try this. This stencil is nice. I like the pink and the gold. And if you're just coming in or watching the replay, feel free to leave any questions in the comments. That was nice. Okay, let's try, let's do the pink in the middle. I'm gonna do brown and the gold. Okay. It's an odd color combination. I like it. I feel just left it pretty loose like that. I'm gonna try. I really like this stencil. I thought that was good. Let's put it more at the bottom. Oops, crooked. That's right. We're gonna layer over it anyway. Okay, my last sheet of ten. Oh, that went quick. It's a quick ten. Also, I wanted to ask you all if you had any ideas on going live, what you would like to see me make, make sure to leave that in the comments as well. I like that one too. Okay. So now we've got all these prints that are sort of dry. The paint dries pretty fast on this paper. I'm not too worried about that. And if it does get a little bit on the back, that's okay. So now I want to add into the pieces. You see, we've got, let's start here with this. Mostly I want to do, <clears throat> I'm just going to roll out some colors and then we're going to just sort of add in, and my brayer looks really cool right now. Add in, colors I don't want them to be all over that's not the intention I'm making a mess of these stencils I know okay 
So the idea is that I'm just gonna add in, I'm just gonna put it down and just sort of put it in spots like that. I kind of don't want it to be all over. I maybe just want to do sections like that. Oh, that's really cool. Let's add in, this is uh, May Spring Paint Mica Powder that I added with water. I'm just going to spray that on. I'm gonna add on that one. I think I want to add it on to this one. And we're just gonna add that in right there at the top. And you can see it adds just a little bit of funness to it. This needs something. That's not good. It needs more. More white right down here. You know what I need is what if we added in just a little tad of Payne's Gray? This comes out really fast, so there we go. Perfect. I'm gonna add in some blue. We don't have enough have that one blue. We don't really have a lot of blue in there. I like blue. blue jean color. Oh, that's way wet. And you can tell when it's wet, it kind of moves around a lot. This one might need just, let's just add. That was pretty. So you can really build up, <clears throat> excuse me, the layers on these and make them whatever you want. I think I want some blue on that bottom part. See, I'm just lightly touching. It's got a very nice landscape feel to it. We got this blue out. We might as well do a little bit more with the blue. I don't really want the blue on the, the pink ones. Oh, that's nice. Let's add in. I'm liking this right there. And it really is kind of a guessing game almost. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. On where you put the color. Let's add in just this little spot down here. So they get very landscapey, which is kind of neat. Okay, I think I'm done with the blue ones. I like that one. This one's really nice too. Feels like a, I don't know, like an impressionist painting. Okay. I love the blues. So now, I've got that pink color in there. What am I gonna add to that? Oh, I don't want that color in there. Brush my brayer off. Off camera brushing. I'm okay with a little bit of the blue. I don't really like that, but this blue's not gonna look good with that. Was the raw sienna. Oops. 
do this is fun. This is a fun stencil. Let's add this one in. Let the color shift in that. Let's just do light right there. Mm, I don't know about that one. That was a little too blue, but it's not bad. It's blue might be good on this one, actually. <clears throat> also, you could take the end of a brush And rather than pressing down, you could just make some marks on the back. Let's see what happens there. I think it's sort of, sort of worked. Oh, that's nice. I feel like that needs more light. Let's do white. Another layer. I think this needs another layer too. So I don't know how you would do this with bigger paper. I'm gonna have to try. Maybe that'll be next week's project. I think it would get kind of tricky to hold the whole thing together and still. make marks. So really all we're doing is t basically using the using the jelly plate as a mark making tool to make more marks over what we already did. I still got some stuff left here in the plate. And I feel like we're almost done. I don't want to keep you too long because I know it's almost, it's, in be, it's that in-between stage of work and what day it is. I'm going to add some right here. Yeah. Kind of neat. Okay. Well, let's look at what we did. So we've made this blue, which I think might go that way. And I love how shimmery these are. These are gonna make for fun collages, I think. And I will, maybe that's will be next week's live. We'll go live and do some collage work. Look how sparkly that is with the mica powder. And that little blue is nice. This one needs something. It's kind of boring. I've got a little bit of paint left. Let's, let's just throw some paint on top. I hope that did a little bit. It's still a little. It's, once the plate gets dry, it's kind of hard to bring it back. Oh, but that's fun. That gave it a little something. Everything doesn't have to be so super. I like the sparkle bits on this and I love that little geranium pattern that came through. Um, like that. Probably need to be more bold with the stencils, but I kind of like this one. I think this is kind of nice. 
And it's kind of nice how shimmery it is. That one's nice too. I think I want to try one more thing before we go. Let's do, let's just do some white. Let's get some real white. Liquitex white, like white white. That's a whole different feeling. What happens? Wonder if, especially with these lighter ones, these pink ones, like I said, I kind of want to maybe use them in some red bubble artsy things. What happens if I I'm just going to put the print down. What if we did an all over print in the white on here? Let's just try. Because we're here about experimentation, right? There's no right or wrong way to do this. We're just playing and having fun on a Wednesday afternoon. Okay, that didn't, that's not horrible. Not quite what I wanted. Maybe let's do, let's do. Let's do an all over color shift. The pink. Maybe we need to take a negative print of the stencil before we, you know what I mean? Um, put the paper in here. Do this one. Ooh, fun. That's fun. And now I've got that. Let's do another one of those. Why do we want to do that one? So we're just removing a layer of that paint. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, neat, okay. And now I want to take, where is that? Oh, it's this one. Let's do an all over on this one and see what happens. With the color shift paint, woo! That's kind of pretty and subtle. And I want to put more gold on it though. I think it needs more gold, right? Okay, now I'm out of control. I'm obsessed with this one piece of paper. And I don't want this to be all over, but. And this is what always happens when you start on jelly printing day start off doing a little bit and it turns into because the plate gets good it turns into a whole thing a whole day <laughs> of printing I just did. Let's just do this on here. I feel like this is what I want to do. And I haven't used a lot of stencils, so. Oh, that's really neat. Look how pretty that is. It needs some more dark spots in it, but I still really like it. That's probably too much. 
could use something, I think. I feel like I've done that a few times, though. Let's do it this way and see what happens. It's just a hot mess. <laughs> Sometimes you get a lost cause like that. Um... This one, and we'll see what happens. Not awful, but let's. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's kind of like a brocade down there at the bottom. Let's just do a little bit more up here. Okay. All right. I think I'm done for the day. I hope you enjoyed our little quick uh, gel printing tutorial. I think we got some really fun prints. That's my least favorite right there. Put that on the bottom. I think I like these shiny metallics and I like the patterns that came out. This one is really pretty. Like, I can totally... Wouldn't you love to have that as, like, a shower curtain or something? I feel like I need some blue, though. Okay, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Let's just add in a little... I feel like it... Like it could just be fabulous with just a little blue in there. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not... It needs more contrast, but... We just... I'm just... The last thing I'm doing, I swear... like whatever Trina you're gonna print for like five hours which I probably will oh look at that I love how shimmery that is sadly oh, what's that sadly this will not show up in a digital piece so we need to work on starting darker and going lighter. This is a piece I did yesterday. It's a little darker. Ooh, pretty. We could use up all the paper, right? We could use it all. Let's try this one, I think. Let's do it right in the middle. The problem is I start doing these and then I get into it and then I get more ideas. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, now we're done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I'll probably go back to my Friday afternoon schedule next week, but I will let you know in the community board. So take a look at that whenever you have a chance and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.